What up, people? That guy Ralph, third favorite YouTuber, with a new video. And it's the part two of the Incredibles review. For this one, spoilers, so you have been warned. Anyways, before I get started, like, comment, share, and subscribe. So below, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you already, if you haven't already, excuse me. But if you have, share the video and also like it. You know, put it on your like list, please. Por favor. Me hate. Anyways, dad joke. Just wanted to ask you guys. Did you hear about the guy who created lifesavers? Yeah, I heard he made a mint off of it. <laughs> Boo, you stink! Get it? Mint lifesavers, mints, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna start the video. Credibles 2, spoiler edition. Great movie. Um, as I said in the spoiler free one, if you seen it um i gave it a 10 out of 10 i actually thought it was damn near a perfect uh movie and considering the incredibles i guess uh universe perfect addition the movie actually starts off where the first one left off with the underminer and everybody was wondering well what the hell happened next and the second one exactly like told you exactly what happened and the midst of everything uh with the underminer they ended up finding a way to try to bring the supers back into the limelight with a guy and his sister. I forgot their names. That's where I'm going to put their names. And the one thing I didn't like about the movie that I said was the villains. So uh, the whole time you see a screen slaver and everybody's confused. They're like, oh, whatever that means, whatever. And the whole time you get this hunch that the sister's up to no good. I think a lot of people thought it was the brother as well, but the brother was so in love with the superheroes that I didn't see him happening. Because actually, you know, somebody probably watching this video now. Hey, hit subscribe if you're watching this, my guy. Anyways, <laughs> but um, yeah, he uh, loved the superheroes and he's just fulfilling what his dad uh, started off. And I thought that was actually a really good way to bring in these characters. And they are opening up the universe with more, like, heroes. Like, obviously, just because the other ones die with, um, Syndrome's, uh, experiment with the big robot thing, you know, doesn't mean there wasn't more supers. So, they actually bring in the supers from the different parts of the world in, in part two. And also, Elastigirl is actually the face of bringing them in because she caused the less collateral damage. So, it makes sense to bring in the person who's going to cause less damage because that's what they got in trouble for the first time. And in the midst of doing all that, uh, Mr. Incredible is kind of jelly about it, you know? Like, he's turning green. And he wants to be the one because that was his life. You know, let's be serious, you know, he's Mr. Incredible. But it was good to see him try to react with his kids more because he was working X amount of years at that insurance place. And it was time for him to wind down and just take care of the kids while his wife does all the stuff. And they lived, like, this really cool house. And it was just overall great. Um... I did want to, originally I wanted to see an age gap with The Incredibles 2, but they did it so well with the whole including where it took place at in the next chapter, I didn't even care about it anymore, to be honest with you, I just like kept it moving, like, oh, whatever, this is perfect. Uh, I laughed a lot a bit. Uh, you got to see more personality from Violet, uh, the the Tony uh, Tony Ridinger guy, uh, how she's like, you know, you know, crush or whatever, and that whole that whole little thing was hilarious him forgetting because they wiped his mind her having to deal with i'm a superhero but i'm also a kid dash you can see he's all for being a superhero and even jack jack he's small but cutest fucking kid ever and he's just <laughs> jack jack i said it in uh superhero movies in a comment before and i'm gonna stand by this jack jack is like the strongest fucking character in that whole universe like, he has, I think Mr. Incredible said in one scene, I think, like, up to 15 different powers. Like, you see this kid uh, going to different dimensions, he goes invisible, he pops up, um, laser beams, he goes on fire, turns himself into metal, shape shifts, he, he does it all. This kid is, like, phenomenal. <laughs> but he's adorable. Uh, this movie didn't focus too much on Mr. Incredible. The first one was, like, solely based off of him. But this one, actually, you see a lot from Elastigirl. Uh, trying to just become her own person. Uh, you see a lot from Dash, uh, you know, the kids. Uh, you see a little more Frozone. I still didn't see his wife. I was actually hoping to see his wife. 
there was like a picture floating around that said it was rumored how she looks. It made perfect sense, but I don't think that was her. I think it was like just all false. But if it's a fan art, good fucking job, my guy. Good fucking job. But other than that, Incredibles 2 was a great movie. Uh, if you're into The Incredibles, I know they're not like a typical superhero comic book. But overall, you know, they do a lot of the same things that other superheroes do. And the thing I liked about The Incredibles 1 and even 2 is they take on a lot of like, well, not a lot of people want The Incredibles. Or they took on, there's damages that needs to be done and people need to pay for it. Like that type of stuff I feel like is, a lot of movies tend to miss that. But Incredibles, it being focused on a younger audience, did a great job explaining it. And even part one and also with part two. But overall, this is a great film. Um, I recommend it a lot of it. Uh, I was I went in with very low expectations and it was met and then some. But my favorite scenes were honestly the Jack Jack scenes. Um, when he's fighting the raccoon specifically. Like he him and the raccoons was going ham. But it's <laughs> a great film. Um, if you have kids, well, I'll take them. They'll enjoy it. Um, if you're a kid at heart like myself, watch it. But great film. 10 out of 10 in my opinion. I mean, somebody else might have a different opinion. That's fine. That's cool. That's what we're here for. Anyways, that being said, I'm going to wrap up the video. That guy, Ralph, third favorite YouTuber. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Share as much as you can. I have the Facebook page running. I'm trying to do more promotions on that. Please give me some time. I'm actually going to revolve a lot of my things. That's why you see like this poster right here. It's kind of like hanging. I'm actually going to change my background again. I'm going with a different approach. You'll see it. You know, I know it makes sense. But other than that, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. All right? Good night, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Whenever you're watching this, enjoy the rest of your day. And always to rub your nipples, stay sexy, and life is too short. So enjoy it while you last.